Hello everybody, I'm here with Halleck Gracie for his upcoming fight with Sakuraba. How are you doing, Halleck? Great, just finished training, uh, feel good. Uh, yeah. Tell us how this fight came about. How did you get a chance to fight Sakuraba? Man, um, I have an agent that I deal with who works with um, the Japanese promotions and he let me know that they were looking to put together something exciting for the Japanese fans and for the fans here in the U.S. too, who are going to be watching the fight on HDNet. And uh, yeah, we just we set it up pretty quick. Well, everybody wants to know how come uh, it's going to take five Gracies to beat Sakuraba. <laughs> That's the question they're asking. <laughs> Who, man? What? What form? No, yeah, they have a lot of questions, man. We can't answer them all in one interview, but um, yeah, honestly, I think um, it, it's not even about winning or losing. You know, people miss the point. It's about the sacrifice that we make. And uh, Sakuraba is a smart guy. He has a good strategy. And at that time, you know, when Hyen and Hoyler and Hoyce and all my uncles went up against him, he, um, he threw everybody off because he came with the patience and the, the strategy that they were bringing on everyone else. He kind of turned it on and turned it against us. So he was, um, he was smart in that sense. But, you know, at this point, I feel like um, it's just my time, you know, and I feel like he's... You know, just another person who's going to give me a wonderful opportunity to showcase my skills. And he's someone who can bring the best out of me. And I hope he does. You know, I hope he really challenges me to, to really bring out my best. And it, it could be very interesting. Um, have you got any helpful hints from any of your uncles? Any, you know, are you bringing the whole Gracie clan in to uh, Man. get some opinions on how to fight this guy? I'm, um, you know, honestly, I... I talked to Hoyce, you know, he gave me some advice. I talked to Hoyler. Everyone's just, you know, same thing. Just go in there, do your thing, and, you know, just stay focused. So, uh, honestly, um, you know, I have their blessing, and I have, you know, just it, more than anything, I just have, you know, years of training and having their influence and their, their uh, you know, if anything, their inspiration, you know. They're just, just seeing them go in there and do it year after year and uh, fight after fight. It's just inspired me so much to step up and do what I'm supposed to do. And, I mean, if anything, uh, I'm just, I hope to just do my best and show people that there is a, there is kind of an evolution of jiu-jitsu that's taking place, whether we like it or not. And it's something that, um, that is beautiful to witness and hopefully I can really express that, you know, and help people understand the, the power of jiu-jitsu um, from, you know, the next generation. I see you were in there practicing a little bit earlier. You had uh, some heavy hitters under Jake Shields, uh, yeah, man. Kevin Casey. Uh, what do they bring into your training? Oh, man, just they, they just bring a... Obviously, you know, Jake is fighting currently and he's a champ in strike force and he, uh, you know, just brings that high level, you know, game. That game that is just, you know... See, Brian? Thanks. Um, it just brings that, that, you know, A game, and it's, you know, for me, that's all I, that's all I can train with right now, you know. And I got to know where I stand, you know, with these guys, and so I can kind of, you know, be as prepared as I possibly can be. Uh, Tarek is working on my hands, and wonderful hand, wonderful boxing coach, and he, uh, I mean, if anything, he just gets my arms conditioned, you know, so I can go in there and, you know, duke it out, do what I need to do. What makes you want to fight? I don't even know. <laughs> you like getting hit? Um, what is it? You like hitting no, people? Man. You know what it is? is um, when you train to fight and you really train and you're very serious, you learn so much about yourself, you know? It's like having another kid. When I get that trophy, I'm going to feel like I had, you know, I gave birth to my third son. My first son, Highland. My second son was my black belt. And my third son was my victory against Sakuraba. Pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, is there any particular strategy that you're going to try to use in soccer? I mean, you don't have to give away the game plan, but obviously you're better at certain things. you got to ask that question. Soccer is better at certain things. Yeah. Man, honestly, um, I feel like uh, me just going in the ring with him and getting a hold of him, he's going to make a mistake. So I'm going to capitalize. My strategy is to... Uh, to have the ultimate response, to have the answer to every one of his questions, and just defeat him with my rebuttals, you know? It's a debate. He's gonna ask me a question, I'm gonna have an answer. Right after my answer, I may ask another question. And since he speaks Japanese, he may not understand me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I can't help you with that for you, you know. I, I, konnichiwa, that's all I know. After that, you're getting choked out. <laughs> so what, what, where do we see Halleck five years from now? Uh, is man. he going to be the dream champion, the USC champion? Uh, what, what does Halleck want to do? Man, I just take it one day at a time, man. I, uh, like we did, like I said on my, our last interview, I'm just happy being a father, man. Just every day, training, teaching, and uh, my life is great, you know. It, uh, in five years, got a lot of things going on, man. Some stuff I can't talk about, but for the most part, I hope to have a couple more victories. I hope to, um, you know, really create a foundation to inspire people and develop a network, you know, of people who um, can, of course, you know, get in contact with me to train or to teach or just in any way connect with me on, you know, a jujitsu level on a music level, on any level that I feel like, um, you know, people can reach me. Mm. If you had to say your game was um, like any of your uncles or fathers or older brothers, is there any specific game that you think you emulate or is it just a pure Hallett game? Man, I'm a little bit of everyone. Yeah, these guys, uh, like, Obviously, I, you know, I've watched, seen all the tapes and uh, trained with my uncles and I've, you know, spent time talking to them about their strategies and their philosophies and, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of like a, I'm like a big, I'm like a mutt, you know, in the jiu-jitsu game and having my older brothers, having Hidon and Henner to train with and them just constantly pushing me, you know. When you have two older brothers, one of them is two years older than you, the other one is four years, they, you know, they've been, you know, they've had more time on the mat than me and they've allowed me to really step my game up through them. So, um, man, I'm, if anything, I'm more like my brothers than my uncles, you know. So, I owe a lot to those guys and owe a lot to uh, my father, you know, just setting it up, having the academy, you know, a place for us to train and beautiful open mat space and just um, having a place to just wake up, roll over in bed, walk to the academy and train as long as we want and, you know. So how does your father feel about you fighting? Does he encourage it? Mm -hmm. did, he, did he always want you to fight or? Um, yeah, he's, uh, of course, like any father, he's concerned, you know. So, hey, man, you know, his main thing is if you're ready, no one's going to stop you do what you're supposed to do and of course you have my blessing you know and then he, he for him it's it's all about accountability you know if you're ready no one can say anything if you're not ready no one needs to say anything you know you're it's all on you so he really left it up to me and uh he really didn't push me either way you know he would tell me like seriously honestly he'd say man i don't think you're ready or okay you really gonna do this go ahead it's, it's really a question of how I come to him, you know, if I'm like, man, for sure I can do this.